I'm doing a monotype challenge run in Power World today, so let's spin this wheel that will decide my fate. Great! This is gonna be 50 shades of oh sh Did you know that there's a total of 11 electric type pals? 11. That means my options are incredibly limited. I'm gonna take this a step further though. Work suitability. I'm only able to catch and use electric type pals. That means my options are, well, you know, <laughs> very limited. <laughs> Hence why I've added in a lucky clause. If I find a lucky pal, I can use it in my base for its work suitability, and that's it. Just doing a monotype run where I have to beat all of the towers isn't that crazy difficult. I'm a glutton for punishment, and you guys know this. If you watched my last video, Oh my god. Oh. This is too difficult. You understand, I am in it for the content. And if I can make good content for you that you go, oh my god, this guy's crazy, then I feel like I've done my job. This is fine. I'll get through it. It's gonna be tough. But I'm gonna do it for you guys and the content. Let's get into it. We have a new hero of this story. Everybody, I would love to introduce to you Ivan the Nimble Nipple. He's great. He's a man's man. Look at that body. Look at those eyes. I may be five feet tall, but God put that other 12 inches somewhere else. <laughs> ah, there's just nothing like a brand spanking new save in Power World, am I right? It just feels nice and peaceful. It's like the world is your oyster, and this day is your day to seize. You know, I'm gonna be allowing myself to catch pals for the experience. Without using glitches, catching numerous pals is still one of the fastest ways to gain experience pretty quick. On top of that, I have a sinking suspicion that I'm gonna need quite a lot of gold for this challenge. Since I have to constantly think of ways to progress without having access to certain work suit abilities, odds are I'm going to be buying quite a lot of resources throughout this run. The first pal I need to find is going to be a spark it. Before I start catching any other pals, I need five electric types in my team because in the spirit of this challenge, I don't want any, you know, partner skills or passive skills that are going to be adjusting my own stats while they're in my party. Where are they? Seriously, where? Where are they? I'm growing old from looking for spark it. I stand atop this summit and I hear a call, a call that beckons for a response. We found four spark it, caught them, got into a firefight, and then I died. Things were going oh so well. I decided to try spawning at Icewind Island. Our next electric type pal and one of the only mounts that I'll be able to use will be a Univolt. And spawning in here is gonna get me somewhat closer to where they're at. So I grabbed the teleport point and then I teleported back to the plateau of beginnings to hunt down all of the lamb balls. I needed cloth, which meant I needed wool, which meant the culling of the lamb balls. I thanked all the lamb balls of the world for their sacrifices by making my first cloth outfit. I then made my first old bow and a pretty good amount of arrows and went out to catch my final spark it. Once I catch one more, I'll have a full party, which means I can start catching other pals for the experience. I found the last one I needed and I went on a absolute catching spree. It was nighttime and I found the cutest sleeping crevice. I mean, look at this thing, look at it. I wanted to catch it, so I decided to shoot it with my bow to weaken it and then sadness ensued. Are you kidding me? The very first fox barks I get has artisan. And then the second Fox Sparks I have ever gotten also has Artisan. This 
challenge is cruel and unusual and I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I do this to myself. I continued exploring and I found my very first electric egg across a stream. A series of unfortunate events then unfolded. I traveled to Bamboo Groves and I found my very second electric egg. <laughs> Now, this is pretty exciting because it's a large egg, and honestly, I didn't die, I didn't drown, so this is great, 10 out of 10. I was able to unlock the fast travel point by where a lot of these univolts spawn, and I got out of there as soon as possible because Gale Claws, I, I, I don't know what's in the water they drink, but they are just an absolute menace. I... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with the bloodlust, but every single time me and a Gale Claw lock eyes, that thing is just pissed. It is so upset, and it has to let the world know. So I got out of there, and then this happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just writing, I was writing my script. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. It's level 13. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, game, why do you do this to me? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I, uh, oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, my God, I did seven damage. <laughs> Don't spark it, you poor thing. <laughs> oh no, dude. No, don't come up here. Stay. No, 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 no. Yeah, stay there. That's safe. That's a good spot for you. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> There's no way, dude. I'm level 9. There's absolutely no way this is happening. Just. Don't just get caught. No? Okay. Oh god. So bad. Everything about this is all bad. I can't see what is happening. Oh god. Just get caught. Come on, it'll make for good content. <laughs> Mr. Deer, we're we're oh Mrs. Deer. We're 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 on a massive YouTube ma absolutely massive YouTube channel. I'll give you a shout out. You're gonna make a lot of money from the shout out. Come on. <laughs> oh, damn it. Son of a... Uh... <laughs> oh, this, is... this challenge is going to suck. It's gonna suck. Well, I'm dead inside. Back to catching pals and leveling up. I sat and waited as two titans of the plains known as Mamorous fought. My thinking was I could get in there, shoot one of them, and just get a lot of experience. My plan didn't work unfortunately, but that's fine. It was fun, it was a fun experience to see. I went up to the skill fruit tree and I got my very first skill fruits. Since I'm doing a monotype playthrough, getting as many differing type of skill fruits as I can is going to be paramount to my success in doing this. Oh goodness. I hear it. I hear it. What is it? Uh, do I even have any pal spears? I have five. What is it? Where is it? Oh! It's a tea fan! Oh my god, this is gonna be perfect! It's a watering pal! Oh. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, no, no, spark it. You're gonna end up killing it. We can't risk that. Yeah, okay, alright, why are we climbing? Stop climbing. Oh my gosh. 
Whew. That is so lucky that we got a lucky T-Fan. That's going to be amazing. Um, we still haven't fully unlocked farming yet, but we are very close. We're very, very close. Like, if we could find, like, a, luck, a lucky tansy, because it, it can do farming and gathering, that would be perfect. Um, but wow, I'm very excited about that. Uh, we just took a massive step forward on what we can and can't do in this run. I've spent a lot of time scouting an area for a base, and after a while, I realized that I really didn't need to put so much thought into this right now. I mean, realistically, all this base will be for a hot minute is going to be a place for me to sleep, exchange pals, and use as storage. Until I'm able to find more lucky pals, this base is pretty much dead in the water as it stands. That being said, I did find a cool-ish area to build. There's trees and an ore node by it. So it's not the best, but it's going to suffice for now. Hi, I sell locks of my hair for a living. And I like batteries. Our, Our budget, budget is $2.5 million dollars for a house. And here's my tiny house. Absolutely no magic happens here. I traveled to the deep bamboo thicket to catch a lot more univolt so I could use them for condensing. I caught quite a bit and then I witnessed a jolt hog flying at Mach 10 into the atmosphere. Aren't jolt hogs just so quirky? What are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't even know Reptyro could spawn here. Huh. That is very interesting. Uh, scary, because that will completely decimate me. Bamboo Thicket did not disappoint. You have got to be kidding me. Is that seriously a lucky univolt? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. That's nuts. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with this first univolt. We begin. Oh god, I'm so scared. I want that Univolt. I want it. I want it real bad. Right in the butt. Oh. Okay, we're gonna throw it. We're gonna throw a uh, Mega Spear. Let's see if we get lucky. Oh, come on. <laughs> we got a lucky Univolt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, that is, that is amazing. Wow, dude. That's awesome. Wow. I am so happy with that, with that outcome. That's, wow. 10 out of 10. That's fantastic. And what level do we need for its saddle? Okay, we need 14, but the issue I'm seeing is we need five ingot to make it saddle. And I am pretty sure I have nothing that can smell ingot. So, I'm gonna have to figure out something with that. Uh, what it is, I have no idea. Yet to be determined. But, man, that was exciting. I was not expecting a Lucky Univolt. That's so cool. I'm so excited for that. Finding the Lucky Univolt really pushed me further ahead in this challenge, as Univolt can be a monster if you use the condenser and rank it up with Pal Souls. And not to mention, since this happened, I now have access to the Lucky Passive on Univolt. So I will be doing breeding later on in this challenge to make just an absolutely bonkers Univolt. 
you know, if you don't have a flying mount, doing that trick is a really easy way to get high up in the air and see everything around you. So, uh, yeah, tips by Megabits. Oh, just make sure you have a glider. Don't do this without a glider. My next challenge is going to be finding a lucky fire pal to hopefully get some ingots. You know, I spent the next few days running around in hopes of finding some luckies to work my base because as of now, I'm kind of at a standstill on what I can do. Now don't get me wrong, I know that I can get ingots from fighting Bushies, but as of now, I'm still too low of a level to be able to handle them. I ran around for a while in hopes of finding another Lucky. I leveled up a lot by catching pals, I ran my first dungeon, and then I decided to go to this area. This is a spot that has quite a lot of fire pals, and I don't really need to worry about my temperature here. My plan was to actually keep resetting this area until I got a lucky. I'm pretty sure that's a way to reset spawns to potentially get one, but I don't really know. Regardless, my ADHD did not allow me to be there for more than 10 minutes until I got bored. So I wandered off. I found this little rut in the map and me being the person I am, I was like, whoa, I wonder if I can glitch under the map here. And you know, uh, it seems like I got myself into a <laughs> rut here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems I have gotten myself in quite the precarious position. Speaking of ADHD, to my fellow ADHDers, do you all hyper focus on like everything? For instance, while I'm doing these videos, I'll legitimately only think about this video until it's finished and uploaded. I will have dreams about whatever video I'm working on. I also hyper focus on problems and how I can fix them. Uh, for instance, if anything is even slightly out of whack with my computer and it's not running to its full capabilities, I will obsess with the problem and troubleshoot it until it's fixed. I don't know, it makes me efficient in most things I do, but it's a little frustrating at times. I probably should get it treated, but who wants to be normal anyway? Life is boring enough, and honestly, I envy the people that are unapologetic about who they are. It's pretty impressive. Anyway, after that little bit of a tangent, everything wants to kill me. I used a 10,000 IQ play to slide down this hill and latch onto a tree like a spider monkey. The bee guards unalive themselves, then I ran away faster than you can say, Numino Ultramicroscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis, which is actually an invented long word said to mean a lung disease caused by inhaling very fine ash and sand dust. The more you know. I went back to the small settlement to sell all of the pals that I had, then I found out that that pal merchant was selling a Joltog. Now granted, it doesn't help me really at all, but I love me some Jolt Hog. It's amazing. I then had something unfortunate happen. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. I didn't record any of that. Oh no, dude. God. <laughs> No, I didn't record that whole interaction. Gosh. Okay, so... Hi. What you guys just missed was me finding a Lucky Hookertis. And I forgot to record. Uh, it has Gathering Level 1, so that's very exciting. Um, that essentially means we now have a Watering Pal and a Gathering Pal. So if we can get a pal that can, you know, do the farming, the, what, the seeding, I think, um, I think we'll be good. I'm a little upset that I didn't just record that. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm sorry. I would like to apologize, but you're just gonna have to trust me. I was pretty excited. I made words like, <gasps> and, whoa, a Hookertes. Oh my god. You know, things like that. Um, it was wonderful. Everybody laughed. People were crying. When I caught it, everybody in the room stood up and started clapping. It was just... It was a beautiful moment, and I'm really sad you guys didn't get to see it, but... We'll get them next time. We'll... we'll, we'll I'll get it next time. 
I spent more time wandering, catching pals, and leveling up, as that's the ongoing trend of most of these videos I do for you guys. I went to visit my favorite black marketeer and I bullied him. I do feel a little bit bad to do this, but I am 10,000 gold richer than I was 30 seconds ago. Okay, I've been running all over. Like, look how much of this map I've covered just on foot. I'm tired of it, Grandpa. I'm tired of this, Grandpa! That's too damn bad! I need to get some ingot to make Univolt saddle. So, I'm gonna work on leveling my pals and myself up to fight the Bushi boss. Well, my patience did indeed wear thin, and I decided to try to fight Bushi. I'm currently level 24, and my pals are level 19 to 20. This will be either awesome, or, or, I will fail miserably. Okay, that was a pretty difficult encounter, but I did it. I'll have to fight Bushi like two more times to get enough ingot to craft Univolt Saddle, but this really gave me a lot of clarity on where I am progress-wise. This fight was far harder than it should have been. I wanted to go back to Bamboo Thicket to catch some more Univolt for condensing later on, and I was hoping to potentially maybe find a lucky Arsox. And you know what? You know what, dear viewer? I did find a Lucky, but it was not our socks. Oh my goodness. Is that a, yeah, it is. It is a Lucky Cog, Cognito. Cognito, Cognito, whatever. It's the burb. So, uh, wait, what do we have? We have three Megaspheres. Oh boy. All right. So, um, yeah, I guess we send out Univolt and see how this plays out. I'm a little scared. Good God. That was a waste of- that was a waste of house fear. Oh gosh. God, Univolt's doing like no damage. This is bad. That was bad. That was a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what's gonna die. Get in there, Fuse! I'm just gonna not get killed. Oh god! Oh! <laughs> no! No, dude! Ah! Oh, come on! Man, this sucked. This sucked hard. I'm not a fan of ever losing luckies, but this one just, it stung a little more because I am so limited on my pal options for my base. Granted, Cognito only has level one lumbering, but still. You know what else sucks? You not hitting that subscribe button. I'm so sorry. I, I have to apologize every single time I do these segues, but please subscribe because 98.5% of all of you that watch my videos aren't subbed. So you yourself may not even know it. Just look right down below and verify if you are. If you're not, hit that sub button. And again, I don't know how to... <laughs> I don't know how to thank you guys for the just tremendous support. I like, look, here are my stats from the last 28 days. This is crazy to me. I still look at my YouTube stats and I'm just in awe. All I can say is thank you. Each and every one of you are paramount in having this dream of mine come true. 
so thanks. I don't feel like I deserve it, but I really appreciate it. I'm really not putting out enough damage, and on top of that, I can barely take any hits with my armor. I need to get a fire pal as soon as I possibly can, so I can get better armor and better weapons. This will be a struggle. <sighs> so, I had a blueprint for the uncommon tropical outfit, and in my head, I'm like, hey, let's get as much defense and health as I can. But, you know, I'm... <sighs> I just, I just don't know if this is Ivan, the nimble nipples color, you know? I don't know. It's, uh, it's not very flattering, but it's fine. We're, we're not here to look cute. We're, 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 we're here to survive. I traverse the wilds, crestfallen and somewhat hopeless, but all is not lost as I finally have enough ingots to craft a saddle for Univolt. Ah, this is kind of nice. Ivan's dogs are barking, so this was a much needed upgrade. It is kind of crazy how big a lucky Univolt is. You know, riding it makes Ivan the nimble nipple look somewhat normal. I have a riding mount now. I'm able to travel much further distances without my ADHD stopping me. I've set my eyes on the Fisherman's Point Village. This village is special as I'm able to buy some much needed weapons here. Now, it's not my main choice, but since I'm so limited on items as of now, I bought the makeshift handgun. This will be far better than using a three shot bow. I sold off the rest of my treasure and I bought a heat resistant undershirt and 133 rounds of coarse ammo. I know I should be getting a cold resistance undershirt since my current armor is going to help me with heat resistance anyway, but I wanted this for my future build, so it's fine. I ran around the beach area to do some treasure hunting, which is one of my favorite things to do in this game. I don't know why, I just thoroughly enjoy it. I didn't get anything too amazing, but like I said in previous videos, I do this all the time because I'm able to get higher level PAL spheres without having to spend resources or work to make them. This is also just a really good way to pass the time in this game in my opinion. I traveled to Mossana Forest and went to the volcanic area by the Jormantide boss fight to hopefully get a lucky fire PAL. Okay, what is that? Where? Where? Where is it? Oh no way! It's a Calpsi Ignis! Oh my god! <laughs> it's, it's a fire pal! Wait, stop! Stop running! Stop running! I need you! Come here! Oh god, don't kill it. Ooh, that was scary. This is amazing! Now we just gotta not kill it or die. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god. We're... Uh, <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, we just unlocked uh, smelting now. Which means we can get... Uh, we. Oh man. Wow. We, we can get ingots. <laughs> Woo! I can't believe that worked. I was literally like, I'm currently writing my script as I'm playing, um, and you know, I was about to be like, yeah, you know, I wanted to go back to this volcanic area by Jormantide Ignis, and I did, and uh, my ADHD can only let me do it for like 10 minutes, so I left, and I just wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to work, wow. That's amazing. Cool. Um, huh. Well, that was an amazing. That, that's that's fantastic. Okay. Well, I am. I still have the attention span to run around and reset this area spawns a couple times. I would like if we could get a lucky Wixen 
or maybe an R socks, so we could have a uh, higher level kindling skill. Um, because y you know, Kelpsy Ignis is great and all, but it has a level one kindling skill, I think. So uh, it's going to take forever to <laughs> melt down ore and ingot, but honestly. Uh, it's better than not even having the ability to melt down said ore. So, uh, yeah. Let's reset this area a couple times, and we'll see if I get lucky again. This was such a huge win for me. I'm still stoked about it, even as I am editing this video. I did want to chime in here and say that if you see me knocking out Flambelle a lot while I'm here, it's not that I'm a monster, it's just because they drop high quality pal oil when using guns you need quite a bit of it to repair them okay so i did try to do another two to three passes here until my attention span ran out i needed to try and hook down i needed to try to hunt down another lucky pal that could be doing the planting for me once i get my food situation settled i can really start building up a base armor and realistically anything else i need so i went out and fought the boss chill it for the first time and unbeknownst to me, it actually dropped the legendary cloth schematic on the first try. The level of luck I needed to pull this off is, well, legendary. And the funniest thing, I didn't even realize it was the legendary one until I was running around picking up berries and throwing out the seeds. It's actually funny, you can see where I alt-tabbed really fast to go to my script and write this whole section of the script out. Because again, I had no idea. Absolutely no idea. I spent upwards of seven, seven whole minutes building this stupid legendary schematic. And guess what? It doesn't even have better defense than the uncommon tropical outfit. Now, I knew the cloth wasn't going to be amazing, but dang. I'm going to wear it for a while, so I believe that I didn't just waste my time, even though I did. Do not judge me. Oh, uh, man. The worst part about this was the fact that I just realized that I had a rare schematic for the tropical outfit. So then I made that. You know, life teaches us lessons, and this was just one I needed to learn, I guess. I'm gonna learn my lesson, though. I'm not going to do this legendary pelt armor that I just got. Okay, so I know we literally just went on a tangent about how life teaches us lessons, and, you know, I just needed to learn said lesson, but are you kidding me, man? I just got the legendary cold-resistant pelt armor that... I, I, I just pulled it from a chest. I just pulled it from a chest. Now, I know I should be excited about this. Eh, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. Getting this is great. Heck yeah. I'm just going to instantly jump to heat resistance metal armor, and nobody can tell me otherwise. While exploring, I broke the game that is totally bug free. I don't recall how I did this, but while gliding over this lake, my character decided to latch on to the side of the lake somehow. I then discovered I could fall down into an abyss of sorts. Huh. I tried to explore it a bit more, but I noticed my Univolt was uh, crying and screaming and it was about to die, so uh, yeah, I left. I traveled all over. I ran for what felt like ages. While running, I asked myself, what was I, what was I running towards? It just seems like a distant memory now. A fading, a fading thought. Oh, you know what? Me and my old age, I remember now. It was a lucky pal. Oh, well, hello there. It's a lucky Melpaka. Okay. I don't know. Huh.
Okay, although I'm really excited we have a Lucky Melpaka, I don't know what its work suitability is. I don't really use Melpaka very often. Um... Ah! Dang it! <laughs> okay, well... We have a Melpaka, I guess. Ugh. So, although a lucky Melpaka is cool, do you know what would be even cooler? Oh my god! The <laughs> That's the answers to all of our problems! A lucky floppy! Oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked by a lot of other things though. This is not good timing. Floppy. Oh god. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. We're retreating! We are gonna retreat! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't get too far because I don't want it to despawn, but I can't deal with all that fighting me at once. That's death. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait just a minute for my shield to come back. Uh, this is gonna be difficult. I'm happy I have a couple hyperspheres, though. Dang it! That's bad. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh, that... Wow. That was the hardest fight of this save. As of now. Oh my god. But, oh! Gosh, that's so exciting! We now have access to farming. So now we just drop those three in and we have farming access now oh my gosh that's so exciting what a huge step for us wow oh wow <laughs> this was amazing and because of getting floppy i have officially unlocked farming now and you know it's uh it's just an amazing sight to see am i right now that I have food set up, I realize my storage here at my base is kind of awful. So I've naturally have done some adjustments. I also extended my house a bit. Now this isn't my forever home, but for now, I think it's gonna do me just fine. My lucky um, luck was uh, popping off the charts. Yeah, I had this happen. I spent quite a lot of time running around and mining for ore. As you probably know, ore is an incredibly important resource in this game. It lets you build armor, weapons, certain base structures, pal gear, yeah, you get it. It single-handedly is the main thing that lets you progress within your save. Okay, so I just came back from a mining run and I hear a lucky. But I don't see a lucky. Oh, it's a pixie! Oh my goodness, that's gonna be amazing. Oh my god, I almost killed it. <laughs> oh. Heck yeah, dude, we found a we found a lucky pixie. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. 10 out of 10. We found a Vixie. I'm pretty excited about that. While out exploring, I was gliding over this uh, river, 
And for some reason, my character latched onto the side of the river under the water, which in turn then let me crawl down here, and I tried to do a little bit of exploring. Huh. I have... <laughs> huh. I did it again. I... <laughs> I went and bought the ingredients I needed to bake some cakes, as I wanted to start breeding a stronger univolt. I got the ingredients I needed, and the long and arduous process of baking cakes with a level 1 kindling pal ensued. To put it into perspective, I'm going to speed this footage up by 2500%. That's 2500. Just so you can kind of understand my plight here. My patience was tested to the absolute limit. You know, the one thing that's good about me having to wait here for years is the fact that I can multitask. Do you have any portable game systems? If so, what's your favorite? You know, tell me down in the comments. I love talking about video game hardware, all of that. I'm a bit of a collector myself, and as of now, I've really been loving the PSP Go. The portability is nice, and let's talk about this old sliding tech. Who doesn't love that? I have a Vita and that was my go-to for quite a while, but something about the PSP Go is just incredibly satisfying. Anyway, 10 years has passed and I don't even have one cake done. I need a higher kindling skill, which means I need more luckies. Oh man, this is gonna be a struggle. I spent quite a while resetting the volcanic area with no luck. So I went back and to my surprise, I had a big whopping two whole cakes made. This isn't exactly what I wanted, but it's better than nothing. I can try to breed a better univolt now. I've got two eggs going now and man, my base is really coming together. It's definitely not the best or anything amazing, but I think it looks nice for what I had to work with. I do see a need for more luckies though. I mean, I feel like that's the general mood of this whole video is I need more luckies so I can do more things. I'd like to find a fire pal with a higher level kindling suitability, of course, but I'm going to put that on the back burner for now. <laughs> I'm sorry. What I want to do now is try to find a lucky chickpea. This will be great for food and it'll be needed for more cakes down the road. I, in Megabit's fashion, got bored and decided to go back to my base and check on my eggs. Oh man, it's time. Let's see if we get lucky. Well, we got lucky and swift there. We just still have brittle. All right, well, hopefully egg number two will uh, have lucky and swift. That would be nice. Dang it. <laughs> uh. Oh, that sucks. A 20% uh, a 20% defense debuff? That's, that's gonna be horrible. I also completely forgot that I had eggs from previous outings. Um, so I threw those in the incubator and here's what we got. Okay, well, I can't use these, but we can sell them, whatever they are. Wow, a muscle head blaze how knocked? That's, that hurts my soul. <laughs> I can't use that. And a Relaxosaurus. Okay, I'm fine with not using the Relaxosaurus. They, uh, they have no chill whatsoever. Now, I'm thinking it's time for a flying mount. The only electric flying mount that I can get is going to be a beacon. I need to level myself up and my pals just a little bit before I try taking it on. I caught an egregious amount of pals and leveled myself up to 30. At this point, I feel ready to take on beacon. Will I survive? Yet to be determined. This fight with Beacon was a little chaotic because I forgot to change my Univolt's move set. So I had to do that in mid fight. Aside from that, I mean, things went really well and then I had a terrible realization. Yes. Oh, that was awesome and scary and i'm so happy we survived oh my god i can't use i can't make beacon saddle until level 30 
four. Oh my god. After this existential crisis, I felt like I was invincible and went to fight the Relaxosaurus Lux boss. As it turns out, I am totally invincible. Yes. Wow. <laughs> we have a Relaxosaurus Lux. Oh god. What level? <sighs> Here's another terrible realization. Holy hell. Oh my god. That's... <sighs> That's just mean. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Although it sucks, I now have quite a lot of firepower on my team. I'll still need to get a lot of skill fruits, but honestly, I feel like we're almost ready to do the first tower. Before I went to go get the skill fruits and do the tower, I went to the desert to do some treasure hunting. I'm running out of pal spheres, and I don't want to use my resources to make them. On top of that, I needed a lot more medium pal souls, and this is a great area to find them. While treasure hunting, I ran into a Dazzy, Dazzy, whatever you want to call it. I completely forgot these existed. And it's a really cool pal in the sense that it's pretty much like Daydream, where its pal gear will let it follow you around and fight things with you. This will come in handy. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's only level 48. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. No, we're, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. This is horrible. I'll throw one hypersphere, and then we run. Yeah. We're running. <laughs> that thing will kill us so fast. <laughs> uh, you know, I <laughs> I talked about that talked about that, you know, uh, issue with treasure hunting where uh, odds are you will find a lucky and it will be a much higher level than you. Um, so I knew this was coming. I was literally on my way back to my base. And I was, uh, I was pretty excited, because I was like, oh, heck yeah, dude. I didn't run into any luckies. Didn't have to lose any luckies. It's a good day. And then, right on the last leg of my journey, that happened. <laughs> oh my god, it got brittle again? What? <laughs> dude, what are the chances of that? Neither one of these have brittle. Oh my god, that sucks. I kept trying to breed for a better univolt, got bored, then decided it was time to take on the first tower. I've prepped long enough, and it's time for action. This fight was relatively easy. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but my lucky Univolt with ground moves was perfect for this fight. Grizzbolt barely did any damage to Univolt on account of its electric typing. I do have some constructive criticism for myself though. The makeshift handgun, it's, it's ass. This thing is awful. The damage is fine and whatever, but man, the fire rate leaves something to be desired. I'll definitely need to consider upgrading sooner rather than later. Okay, wow, that... <laughs> that was far easier than I was expecting. <clears throat> I, you know, I understand. I understand that the first tower isn't meant to be that difficult. And I don't know, I maybe I just over prepare every time because I feel like this is an ongoing trend in these videos is I will uh, I will build up the first tower as being this horrifying and scary thing, but it never is. It never is. 
And then this whole time as I'm doing this monologue, it looks like Dazi over here is just making fun of me. Look at that smile. Don't you judge me. After the tower, I unlocked the PAL Essence Condenser and I decided to go fight Beacon again. Dang it! I pressed the wrong button! I kept pressing E and not Q! I just... Oh my god! <laughs> That is frustrating. Do you know how many beacons I have fought? We're going back, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping the beacon's health is still just as low as I had it. I swear, did you, you healed up. Oh, you bastard. I hate you. I hate you. No, 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 not today, Satan. Uh-uh. Nope. Nice try, nerd. Nah, uh, uh Fool me once, shame on you. Fool, fool me twice. You, you, you can't get fooled again. After being ridiculed by Beacon, I decided to take out all of my anger and frustration on Elphadran. And although it's cute, I guess this made me feel better. I knew I was going to need a lot of Paldium to craft certain things in my base and Pal Spheres, so I went into a dungeon and mined for quite a bit of it. I also found something kind of cool. Oh my god. Look how big it is. <laughs> wow. I've never seen a boss dig toys before. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, I need this. This is this is a necessity for me. This is amazing. It's so big. <laughs> this makes me want to get a Lucky Dig Toys, because I bet they're about the same size. What? You broke out of a hypersphere? Holy hell, dude. You just get caught, nerd. <laughs> God. Wow, that's crazy. I've probably hatched over 10 eggs now, and I've still not gotten the passives that I've wanted. This is a small speed bump, but whatever. I've dealt with worse. Now, this challenge is starting to burn me out though. Every single step I've had to take to progress takes so much time. You know, I want to make great content for not only you, but for myself too. So with that in mind, I decided I needed to start the journey of progressing towards the end of this video, and that began with leveling up. I caught too many pals, like, oh, so many pals. And it's really funny, because I've already made this challenge very difficult for myself. You know, baking cakes with a level one kindling pal is awful. It is a cruel and unusual punishment, and I'm not a fan of it. But that being said, I, for whatever reason, thought I would complicate things even more. Because not only was I going for three passives, I decided that I wanted to add one more passive that I wanted for Univolt. Oh my god, we just found a runner Univolt. I almost did not press record in time. That just complicated things even more because now I want to breed for a runner on my Univolt. God, it's never easy. It's never easy. So yeah, uh, that will only make my life harder, but I'm gonna have the fastest land speed mount I can possibly come up with, but probably not. I'm sure someone else has come up with something faster. Anywho, while catching all of the pals and leveling up, I had this happen. What? <laughs> Oh, there's a lucky Relaxosaurus. Am I recording? Oh, thank God I'm recording. Hell yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, I used the wrong move. It's fine. Oh, I barely did any damage. Okay.
Let's see, do we get lucky? <laughs> we got lucky with the lucky. Oh, it has Sirius too. Huh. That'd be pretty cool for the base. Okay. I ain't upset with that. It was fitting in nicely into my base. Oh my god, Floppy, what happened? Oh, okay, you're cool. I knew that. After around 15 hatched eggs, I finally got a male Vanguard Swift Univolt. Now I'm able to breed it with my female Lucky, and then I'll be in business for a pretty fast Univolt with okay-ish stats. I fought a few bosses, I caught a few pals, and now I am happy to announce I am level 34. Because of this, I was able to unlock the technology for Beacon Saddle, and I officially can fly now. Wow, this is so much better. I flew around the volcanic area in hopes of finding a new lucky fire pal, with no luck. I went back to my base and I hatched a couple of Univolt eggs, also with no luck. Things were not going so great, but did that stop me? No. No, it did not. I will say I did need to change gears as I felt like I was indeed starting to burn out. So I decided to go and run some bosses. After all of the bosses, I decided to go treasure hunting in the desert again. This was a relatively uneventful excursion. I did find a couple electric eggs though, so I went back to my base and I hatched them. I also had one cake made, so I naturally threw that into my breeding pen and I grabbed another Univolt egg. Hopefully, I can get something good from these eggs. Oh my god, there it is. That's the Univolt! Oh, that took so many eggs. <laughs> wow. That's so exciting. Now, I have, oh, okay. So I'm going to take it one step further now, and I'm going to try to get muscle head on this Univolt. Uh, I can, I, uh, I, I, I can never just be happy. I gotta, I gotta get perfect. <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's for the content. It's for the content. Oh boy. Why am I like this? I have a pretty all right Univolt now, but I think I really want Musclehead too. Man, I know that attack buff will be well worth it, but again, why am I like this? I finally upgraded to an actual handgun. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, for this run, I have full intentions of using the shotgun because I know it's because I know it is a powerhouse of damage, but this handgun will be far better than the makeshift handgun as of now. Since I have a flying mount now, I decided to go to the number one wildlife sanctuary. If I remember correctly, Grizzbolt can spawn in here. I know it's a for sure rarer spawn here, but it's gonna be 100% worth it in my opinion. What? Is that? Oh wow, that is a lucky Ekfire Deer, uh, what, Terra? Oh shoot, that's pretty crazy. Um, huh, okay, well. Well, it's 31, so this shouldn't kill it. Wow, this is actually my first time finding a Lucky in the wildlife area. That's kind of cool. Oh, this thing is so beefy! I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad about what I've done to this, because this, uh, just kind of getting it trapped and shooting it feels not amazing, but it's fine. Ooh. 
No! Shoot, I did not want Beacon to die. Oh, that's a problem. Okay, well, we caught it. But at what cost? <laughs> at what cost? Oh, man. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I'm happy we got a new Lucky, but that was insane. Good God. Oh, okay, okay. This, this was not on my bingo card. This was first an absolute crazy fight, and I'm very happy I was able to catch it. I'm a little sad that Beacon was sacrificed for this, but it's still nice getting another Lucky. I ran around for a bit longer with Univolt in hopes of finding my ever sought after Grizzbolt. I did lose interest and I decided to let the PIDF officers take me out so I could respawn at my base. You know, at this point, I've been playing this save for a hot minute and I completely forgot that Moss Sandal Lux existed. So I went to fight it and catch one. I then found this super cool area that would definitely make for a cool base. It wouldn't be incredibly functional, and I don't even know if you can actually build a base here because of the Mossanda Lux's spawn point, but this would be super cool if you could. I spent so much time breeding to get a Univolt that had Musclehead, Swift, Runner, and Lucky, and good god, it is taking a while. As of now, I bred one that has all of the passives I wanted aside from Lucky. I do plan on breeding to get all four passives, but this one is just going to have to do for now. So it has, ugh, it has three out of the four passives. Musclehead, Swift, Runner, but it doesn't, it didn't get lucky. I also use the Pal Condenser and I get up to three stars. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but Power World has been updated that when you condense a PAL that's already been condensed, the stars will stack into the new PAL, if that makes any sense. While waiting for more cakes to be made so I could hatch more Univolt, I decided to try my luck at number one wildlife sanctuary again. I still need to get a Grizzbolt, and this, to my knowledge, is one of the only places I can get one. Ooh, there's a Grizzbolt. Okay. I don't care about you anymore. Alright. About time, man. Yeah. Oh wow, I count that with just a pal spear. Huh. Oh, it has Vanguard and Cheery. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Okay, so I feel like I have a pretty okay team now. I now need more lucky pals. Specifically, I need a lucky pal that can mine. I still haven't found one pal that has a mining work suitability yet. I'm going to head into the desert by Anubis because there are quite a lot of good ground pals here, including a Dictoys. And if I could get a lucky Dictoys, I could probably die happy. I think Dictoys may be my favorite pal. I trekked across this hot and desolate desert for so long that I've, I've lost track of the days I've spent here. I have to ask myself if this was a fool's errand. Did I waste my time? Could I have done something more with my life than comb over these sands with the smallest of combs? Did I actually gain anything from this endeavor? <laughs> yes, I did. Damn it. <laughs> this is not the lucky I wanted, but I'll take it. Honestly, this bird doesn't even matter because I found something even cooler. Oh my god. Dreams do come true. Look at him. Oh, sorry. Look at her. She's so big. And she is level 33. Oh god. Um. Well... I have 28 Gigaspheres. This will only go well, I would imagine. Ow, 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 ow. This is 
amazing and horrifying all at the same time. I've always wanted a dig toys. <laughs> I've always wanted a lucky dig toys. Look how big it is. This is amazing. On. Oh, this is so scary. Please. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Just join my team. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my god, that was crazy! Wow! It's so big! <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god, I love you so much! <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is everything I could have asked for. Oh my gosh! Look at her go! Ah! Uh, I'm so happy. Ah! Uh, that is amazing. Wow. Now at this point, I'm realizing that I'm just playing the game of Power World. I'm not actually progressing towards my goal of beating all of the towers with only electric type pals. I enjoy just playing the game, you know, it's true, but it's time to actually attempt to complete this challenge. I think the first four towers are going to be okay, but I think the final tower is going to be the issue, and it's always an issue for me in these challenges. My first step should be leveling up, but I'm going to continue playing the game of Power World and I'm going to make a new base. Here is my horrible creation. It's stylish, functional, and I love- you know what? Never mind. That was a terrible design. Okay, let's show off V2. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, here's V3. V3. This has everything I need. Although I did sacrifice a couple of coal nodes, I have everything here. This is a far better base for me than my first one, and I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, now that that is over, time to get back to leveling. I forgot to record all of my grinding, but no, it was long and horrible, but here I am at level 41. I'm gonna change the moveset of my pals, get them ranked up with pal souls, etc., etc., and then we're gonna take on Lily and Lilene. Lily and Lilene really, it really wasn't that bad of a fight at all. During this fight, I've done my best to be as strategic as possible with how I played. I was trying to get as many headshots as I could get, and on top of that, I tried to pull Univolt out of the battle and put it back in to avoid as much damage as I possibly could. This still seemed like the best choice because all of that little tiny damage will inevitably add up. And you know, by the end of the battle, Univolt was in the danger territory for its health. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I didn't think I would lose, but I still always worry. Yes. Woo! Ah, oh, Univolt! The absolute goat! <laughs> That wasn't that bad. Scary, but not bad. Anyway, let's try out for Axel and Orzerk. After I build the blueprint for this rare pump action shotgun I found. Good God, this, this is cruel and unusual. This is taking too long. Oh my God, it's over. The dark times are over. We have a shotgun now. Holy hell, that took so long. Good. God. Whew. That was like an hour. That was like legitimately an hour to get all the polymer and uh, I, uh, uh, I'm so happy it's over. Oh my God. Whew. Wow. Okay. Now I can actually take on Axel and Orzerk. You know, I know I didn't need the shotgun, but I feel like I needed the shotgun. So here we go.
You know, do we ever question why, you know, this is like the whole fire area, right? Like where Axel and Orzerk's tower is. What, why Why exactly is this an, a, a dragon electric type and not a fire type? Oh god. I don't know. Food for thought. Oh my god, the shotgun is amazing. I've been living without the shotgun for like 300 hours. Oh, that did so much damage! Oh my god! Ah, oh, dude, I don't want it to end this fast. mistake <sighs> dog really you're gonna make me work for it son of a okay I've made refined metal armor and I'm feeling good about this all right all right we the second time's the charm that's how the saying goes right Wow, right out of the gate you're gonna do that? Dog. Oh, that was so bad! Dang it, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> god, I'm like getting nervous or something. What's my deal? I have fought these bosses more times than I can count at this point. Oh my god! What is my problem? Nope, we just run, we don't dodge. Okay, well, oh my god! Dude, maybe today's just not my day. Maybe, maybe I should not be doing Power World right now. God, man. Oh, Univolt, you beautiful pal. <laughs> oh my god. So that had no right to be as difficult as it was. Good lord. Oh my god. Okay, so, class, what have we learned here? Um, one, I suck, no idea what my problem is, um, but yeah, Univolt was a star, did absolutely amazing, look at this, barely lost any health, I mean, I know it's healing up, but still, it was fantastic. I'm very worried about Marcus and Phaleris, but I'm still not, I, I think I'll still be fine. Victor and Shadowbeak, though. Those dudes, they scare me. Not looking forward to that one. Nope. Okay. I'm level 44. My pals are all level 44. We have some good move sets. I think it's time we try to fight Marcus and Phaleris. Um, I don't foresee this being a crazy hard fight, but I'm very concerned about the next the next tower i do not want to deal with the next tower but we'll cross that bridge when we get there i was nearing the end of this challenge run and boy was it getting to me i did do some grinding quote unquote off camera and leveled myself and my pals up i thought that being level 44 would have been more than high enough and I feel like under normal circumstances, it would have been. The fight with Marcus and Phaleris was far harder than I previously thought. I wasn't putting out nearly enough damage, and neither were my pals. Now, when I say that, I say it based off my other runs. 
By the five minute mark of the battle, I had more than half of their health taken down, so the outcome in this fight should have been in my favor. I think I was just burning out hardcore here, and I really should have listened to myself during the Axel and Orzerk fight, because I just made too many mistakes. And this happened. Dang it! Oh, I did bad dodging there. Um, uh, that's interesting. I don't know. I might need to rank up Univolt to four star. We'll see. I'll figure something out. Okay, so I understand my pals are good, but they're not good enough. So it's time to condense. The first pal I went to condense was Univolt since that was going to be the easiest. <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> Man! The, uh, the luck! The absolute luck! Look at this boy! Er, sorry, look at this girl! Amazing! We got another Lucky. Sick. I now have a 4-star Univolt. Now I'm gonna go try to go for a Grizzbolt. After spending much time doing this, I've ranked Grizzbolt up to 2 stars, and I think that is the farthest I'm gonna be able to get it. Because honestly, getting, you know, what, 116 Grizzbolt from the wildlife area sounds horrible. And I'm sure I could breed for it, but do you have any idea how long that would take with level one kindling? A long time, a long time. I was just running around. I needed more honey. So I went to go fight some Elizabeth and Bee Guard. And did you guys know that Elizabeth drops Elizabeth's staff? I, uh, no idea. I had no idea this was a thing. Look how cool this stupid thing is. Oh, it has the... I hate that sound effect. But look! How cool is that? I had no idea this was a drop. Wow. I have 300 plus hours in this game, and I'm still discovering new things. So cool. With my condensed pals, I felt like I was ready to actually claim victory against Marcus and Phalerus. This fight went roughly about the same as my last attempt. I personally felt like I was sloppy with, you know, my dodging and how I was shooting. But, I mean, man, hats off to my pals. Condensing them gave them all a pretty significant upgrade in damage and it for sure showed. This wasn't my best attempt by any means, but I did put my best foot forward and truthfully, that's all you can ask for with anything you do in your life. Oh my god. That was insane. Wow. Whew. That was so difficult. So incredibly difficult. I have no idea how I'm going to be able to do Victor and Shadowbeak. As fun as, you know, the concept of this video and doing videos are, this, this challenge has been exhausting. I, I've spent so much time on this challenge and the concept of half having to grind even more so I can potentially beat, beat Victor and Shadowbeak makes me incredible makes me feel very unpleasant <laughs> i'm just burnt out this is this has been a crazy challenge um yeah i'm gonna level up to 50 and change up some move sets and i'll see you guys in a minute thanks to editing magic hey it's been a while and i've been busy before I give you an explanation, let me first explain where I'm at right now. 
I've upgraded my armor to PAL armor. I upgraded my shield. I built the rocket launcher. I've leveled up all of my PALs. And finally, I've taught most of them only dragon moves to fight Victor and Shadow Beak. I think I'm going to be leaning heavily on my Univolt because that 1229 attack damage is absolutely bonkers. Now, to be completely off script here, I didn't record any of my grinding because this video just took it out of me. Um, there's, there's just been something incredibly difficult with how long even the most minute task take. Like, for instance, getting all of the carbon fiber and polymer made for the rocket launcher, that took me almost an hour to do because that's just how long it took for my pals and myself to, you know, make it. <laughs> and uh, it's crazy because like my 100 day series, like I threw like 80 hours in those and I got up to like 100 days in game. This game save is at like 143 days as of me writing this. So it was, uh, I don't know. I was just burning out. So I apologize for not showing all of my grinding. But, um, anywho, let's get back to the script. I feel like this is as ready as I'll ever be for the final fight. So here we are. The door that's called Destiny. I don't know what's behind it, and I don't even know if I'm gonna have the strength left in me to open that door. I can see light illuminating from the door that's ajar, and I can see shadows moving inside. I don't know who those shadows belong to, but I can see them clearly. I'm filled with a sense of want. I want to see who's on the other side. I myself want to have the strength to open the door. I want to make content that fills you with wonder, and even easier than that, I just want to make content that cures you of your boredom, to be real. But to do all this, I need to achieve what seems to be an impossible task of beating Victor and Shadowbeak. Not only for you, dear viewer, but for myself. So let's do this. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Let's be fine. I've prepared for this. Even though it is 1.30 in the morning. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. Huh. Yeah. The fight raged on for what felt like hours. Two titans on the battlefield, myself and Victor. We utilize our friends we call pals to fight the good fight in our stead. The only difference being is that I'm deep in the trenches with my pals. I'm right there beside them fighting. This was a difficult fight. Even with all of my grinding and all of the upgrading I did, Shadowbeak was still just doing an incredible amount of damage to myself and my pals. So much so, that I lost one of them during this battle. Even though I had Beacon fall, it never stopped giving its all. I won't forget its sacrifice, and at this point, I'll either win this fight, or I'm gonna die trying. There was less than 20 seconds left on the clock, and I obviously knew I wasn't gonna win this. It was a cold, hard truth that I had to take. But, you know, it's one that I'm at peace with because I did give it my all. Man. I'm burnt out. I, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't have any words for this. The door called Destiny was no longer ajar. It now was closed and locked for me, it seems. I know I could try this again and keep grinding to make my pal stronger, 
but I unfortunately just don't have the time or mental capacity to continue on this path, dear viewer. This challenge by far was the hardest I've taken on thus far. Keeping myself limited to only one typing for my party sounded like such an easy thing when I came up with the idea, but boy was I wrong. Although I did have some good times doing this, I am happy that I can close this chapter. I don't know if I'll ever do another monotype run like this again, because this really took a lot out of me. Now knowing my luck, this will probably be my most popular video, and then I'll be forced to do another one, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If you've made it this far, I really appreciate your time. I hope I made you happy, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for watching.